first thing is that uh, if you're really healthy, you can meet challenges without experiencing uh, something that Hans Selye would have called stress. Uh, for example, uh, if you uh, are not very healthy, uh, just skipping a meal can put you in really serious stress. But a healthy person stores something like seven or eight ounces of glucose in the form of glycogen in the, the liver and uh, muscles and brain. And since uh, at rest the muscles can uh, burn primarily uh, fatty acids, uh, your brain is the main thing that consumes uh, glucose. So if you're uh, at uh, more or less uh, inactive and relaxed, you can easily go 12 to 15 hours without eating and without having any stress at all. But uh, if you're not able to store that much glycogen, and uh, for example, low thyroid people or people with a history of severe stress aren't able to store very much glycogen. And so uh, when you run out of sugar, whether it's from going all day without eating or because your liver isn't pretty efficient, uh, then your body tries to uh, increase the available uh, glucose. Uh, normally, just uh, being awake makes enough uh, adrenaline to mobilize as much of the uh, glucose from your stores as you need. Um, but when you run out of uh, that stored sugar, uh, your brain still requires uh, sugar to uh, function properly. And uh, so uh, instead of just increasing the adrenaline more and more, when the adrenaline reaches a certain level and can't get the blood sugar up out of your storage, then you turn on the cortisol, and that's the classic uh, stress that can be harmful because it, the cortisol dissolves uh, first tissues like the, the thymus, which are very fragile. Uh, that starts turning to sugar uh, just immediately when you run out of stored glycogen. And when the thymus is gone in just two or three hours of intense stress, uh, and that happens to be one of the reasons they think adults uh, don't have thymus glands because uh, by the time they're dead and uh, uh, are analyzed, the thymus has been eaten up by stress. So they might have had a perfectly normal thymus until they were sick and dead. Um, but after the, the thymus is consumed and turned to sugar, then uh, the cortisol starts breaking down your muscles and uh, then the skin and uh, the, the brain, lungs, and heart are spared from stress, uh, partly because they are uh, very saturated in a healthy person with androgens, testosterone and DHEA especially, which block the breakdown function of cortisol. And uh, if your brain, lungs, and heart are, are short of those uh, protective steroids, then that's where uh, the, the stress really starts causing uh, severe, deadly damage. 